everybody and welcome to the ET Iconic Brand Summit. The Economic Times Iconic Brand Summit is an effort to shine the strobe light on brands and businesses that have scripted successful iconic stories. It will focus on delving deeper into understanding how these businesses have crafted their success along with the need for iconic brands in India to emerge. Now, what is that one thing that makes or breaks your campaign? The hashtag creative quotient. An ad campaign achieves numbers when it is creatively inclined and touch upon the hearts of the consumers. However, in today's time, the buzzword is hashtag data. Brands are going to an extra mile to access consumer data. So the next one is a candid chat. Let's understand the marriage of creativity with data. Please welcome Mr. Piyush Pandey, who will be the first speaker in this chat. The next speaker with over two decades of experience in sales, marketing, e-commerce, and managing P and L. Please welcome Deepali Nair. Over to you. This is a fascinating new world. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, my generation is living through this. Uh, where uh, technology has actually made it possible for advertising marketers, uh, you know, to have a seat on the table, as I call it. So I think it's exciting times that we are living in. There is no doubt, Dipali. See, technology sometimes can be misunderstood. What was television? Television gave people like me and my colleagues a way of getting into people's homes with creative ideas that you had no way of getting through to them unless you got, they had to go out and go to a movie theater. Yes. Same was with radio. So these were all technology and technology keeps changing. Data is the new technology of research. Yeah. And if you are able to read data well, you are on better wicket with technology to be able to fine tune and bring your ideas to people wherever they are. What I wonder also about is that in a marketer's arsenal, you know, a lot more uh, has come to play, uh, like you rightly said. You know, in the good old days, you did a print campaign, you did a TV campaign, and at max, you did radio and outdoor, and that was out. You know, you only had uh, that many elements to look after, that many, you know, assets to look after, as they say. Today, uh, you know, with the world that we're living in, where the mobile devices, your television and radio and OTT and print and, you know, everything, uh, I think the marketers and in advert, and, you know, uh, where you are in advertising, uh, you know, life has changed considerably in terms of how we send our messaging out. Uh, not to take away from the fact I'm a big believer myself of the power of storytelling, uh, the power of narrative, uh, you know, and uh, all things being equal, a better narrative and a better storytelling uh, will always endear us to the hearts of uh, our customer and consumer. Uh, I think uh, it's a mix uh, of, you know, what data and technology enables us to do and how we uh, use the storytelling to get there. It, it is a great opportunity. And the advice that, not advice, but a suggestion that I can make to marketers, which is don't get obsessed with data. Make use of data. I, I always believe read in between the lines in data. Don't be scared of data. I was never scared of research in my life. But I did not read it literally. I read between the lines. So it's a great opportunity. It's a fantastic opportunity. Take it with open arms and take another leap. If you could play a test match, learn how to play at T20 also. Our next panel discussion will have panelists who will look at understanding the new challenges opportunities surrounding the company's branding strategy in present days and for a resilient future. So we're all set for our panel. Hi, good evening, everybody. And I'm delighted to be 
uh, moderating this panel on a topic that is actually very very exciting you know how do iconic brands actually move beyond boundaries and change the definition of the categories and shape the conversations how do they live in culture today but to me i think it's a great time very fascinating time to become a, to be a marketer purely because a brand today is a two way communication that's so omni channel and so prevalent um today an iconic brand to my mind is not only about a promise but something that lives or living it daily and brand that humanize become iconic and let me clarify when i say humanize or become uh, and uh, humanize i also mean brands with purposefulness brands with mindfulness and brands with inclusiveness see iconic brands are the brands which break their own boundaries uh, they don't confine themselves to a particular product segment they go beyond that and iconic brands are the brands uh, to which not only the consumers of that brand relate but even other people it's possible that a brand which is not consumed by uh, that audience but they still love that brand i'll take example of let's say fevicol now i don't think children uh, use fevicol they use fevicol in sc- at school by, but it's mostly used by carpenters and by uh, craftsmen but old people as well as children they love fevicol because uh, the brand breaks its own boundaries and stand for a larger thought and i think that defines an iconic brand that is actually makes a deep emotional connect with audiences beyond its immediate consumers and stand for a larger thought take cadbury's dairy milk it stand for something sweet shareable worth celebrating quintessential indian and those are the core values for which uh, it stand fevicol stands for unbreakable bonds when a brand stands for a core thought or a core value which transcends the boundaries of its physical product segment that's when i think an iconic brand happens if you see besides just the brand owners you know there are the customers i mean every customer is a walking talking uh, influencer today then there are the traditional media industries let's not discount them right they create a huge impression and a huge halo for the brand and of course then there are the the influencers advocates and critics so what's happening now kanika is you know if i look at you know uh, if i look at a smartphone an ordinary smartphone that has more computing power today than let's say the um, the entire uh, you know nasa organization had in 69 when they put a man on the moon right that's the kind of explosion that we have had now so therefore what happens is on first bounce everybody is still sort of in the good old marketing space it's like when as kids we used to get those crazy balls with bubble gum you know you bounce it everybody catches it on the first bounce because you can predict where it's going it's the second and the third bounce that gets really wacky and goes in all kinds of directions because earlier when an advertising campaign did well somebody wrote about it and you got a page in the economic times or whatever right today if they love it they will spoof it so before you know it your ad campaign has been spoofed and parodied and everybody is speaking about it so the pace of change the quality of impact every the clock speed itself has gone up right the the consumers the customers feel like they own the brand they have a voice there right so anything that you do wearing the consumer hat and looking at it as a continuous journey tends to become better ladies and gentlemen it's time for the most spectacular segment of the summit time to unveil the economic times iconic brands for this year this covers the success stories of brands that have established themselves and their organizations through their path breaking ideas this listing celebrates and acknowledges these organizations that have contributed immensely to india's business image and the economic prowess with their strategic planning and execution this list is not just the best of the best but quintessentially the change makers that the rest of the industry is going to follow suit please put your hands together for jk tires hi i am anshuman singhania managing director jk tire and industries i would like to thank et for recognizing us as an iconic brand of the year 2021 it is a proud feeling 
As JK Tire, the pioneers of radial technology, has been a formidable brand and continuously innovating the products and earning customers growing trust. Next up, another iconic and noteworthy brand. Please put your hands together for IIFL Finance. Hello, I am Vipul Obura, Chief Marketing Officer of IFL Finance. I would like to thank Economic Times for this award. It's an honor for any brand to be recognized by Economic Times. I'm accepting this award on behalf of 18,000 IFL Finance employees who have worked relentlessly in these COVID times. Congratulations to the IIFL Finance family. Next up, another spectacularly iconic brand. Please put your hands together for Air India Express. Hello everyone. My name is Alok Singh. I'm the CEO of Air India Express. It's an honor to be selected by Economic Times as an iconic brand, especially in a time when brands are struggling to stay relevant and keep connected with the customers. Next up, another stupendous brand. Please put your hands together for the Sapat Group. Hi, I'm Dr. Nikhil Joshi, Group Managing Director of the Sapat Group. First of all, I'd like to thank Economic Times for nominating Sapat as one of the 50 iconic brands of India. Next up, another astounding brand. Please put your hands together for Orient Cement. Hi everyone, I'm Manish Dua, President Sales and Marketing, Orient Cement. It is really a wonderful feeling to be amongst the top 50 iconic brands in India 2021. Thank you Economic Times for this recognition. Our vision has always been to create brand value through customer focus and by remaining mindful of sustainability parameters. Next up, adding an amazing brand to the iconic list. Please put your hands together for Infosys. Hi, this is Sumit Virmani from Infosys. Uh, thank you Economic Times for this wonderful recognition. Next up, we have another amazing brand. Please put your hands together for Enrich. Innovation, excellence and trust are the key pillars of our brand philosophy since the inception of JK Tire and Industries in 1977. We have remained committed to driving our business through the lens of these attributes and that has contributed significantly towards strengthening our positioning as a trusted brand across the world. We are the pioneers in introducing groundbreaking solutions be it the revolutionary radiant tire technology that we brought to India way back in 1970s, or the first of its kind cloud-based tire pressure monitoring system, smart tire, that we introduced recently. Today, JK Tire is the market leader in truck and bus segment. In fact, we are the first tire company in India to surpass the production milestone of 20 million truck and bus radial tires. We strive to become differentiated solutions and value-added benefits for our customers across business segments. Well, our core focus has always remained on bringing technically advanced products across segments and geographies. What keeps evolving is our approach to bringing these mobility solutions as per the changing market dynamics. Our emphasis on premiumization, huge centricity, and tech excellence has empowered us to emerge as a leading one-stop tire solution provider today. As a brand, JK Tire inspires trust and a deep emotional connect with its customers. And we are committed to bringing innovative solutions for them that are at par with the global benchmarks. Apart from business priorities, we are also among the top promoters of motorsport in the country and it has further helped us grow our brand preference 
among the youth and build an ever-growing community of like-minded individuals. So in pandemic, uh, we have basically told our employees to show compassion to customers and uh, uh, our company has always been driven by the culture of owner mindset. Uh, you know, uh, we have tried to have empathy and uh, always feel that they're all part of family and uh, we have behaved in that manner and that has really helped. So that way, in fact, uh, in this crisis and pandemic, uh, people have come together even closer, more like a close-knit family are uh, trying to help one another in, a, in, in the times of crisis. Core strength of our brand is customer's trust and which has been built over the last uh, 30 years. And the trust is built by honest business practices, transparency, and giving appropriate products to the customer. Uh, and that requires investment in physical infrastructure as, as well as technology, uh, so that you can make sure that you meet customers' expectations. And uh, you know, we, when we deal with retail customers, our customers are naive, they aren't really financially savvy. And therefore the obligation or responsibility is on us uh, to make sure that uh, we give them a fair product uh, and product which is appropriate for them. Now we have 4 million customers and I think we have been able to build this and uh, maintain strong hold or their loyalty over last almost 25, 30 years, primarily by sticking to our values of being fair, being transparent and being honest. Uh, and we deliver the right product to the customer and financial services trust is very important. Uh, and as I said, retail customers, uh, many of them may not be very uh, uh, financially savvy and therefore we make sure that they get the best of the service, best of the product and we invest in technology and we save costs so that we can deliver product cheaper and the value is uh, shared with the customer. Uh, we have also been able to retain customers by offering them entire bouquet of financial services products. As a group, we cater to all, all financial services products, including investment as well as loan products. So it becomes a one-stop shop for the customer. Our technology, our app are something that are really loved by the customers and that have basically, that have always helped us to retain the customer and uh, continue to win their trust as well as reference. Support has a portfolio of very strong brands uh, that have thrived for over 123 years. And very few brands can uh, make a claim like that. Um, as a brand, what is more interesting is that Sapat has a strong affinity in two very different categories. Uh, beverages, that is tea, and consumer health segments like skincare, skin health, and cough and cold. And in each of these categories, uh, our brands enjoy leadership positions, uh, be it Sapat brands like Parivar Chai, Sayadri Tea, uh, Chai Time. Uh, they have not only endured the competition from multinationals, but have in fact thrived and grown into brand leaders that now command a premium over the multinational brands. Uh, one of the key reasons I think that for our success is that we never stopped innovating. It's our continued commitment towards creating con uh, customer delight. Um, and ex continually expanding our uh, customer base and access to our products. And as an organization, we are continuously thinking about new ways to meet and exceed customer expectations. Uh, for any brand to be called a brand, and uh, especially when uh, we are being recognized as an iconic brand, we have to understand that is a, the, the brand is a lot more than the trademark that we use. So we do use uh, two trademarks. One is Birla Even Premium Cement and the other one is Birla Even Strong Treat. Now these trademarks that we started with by now have really attained the position of an iconic brand through creating a relationship. So to me, a brand is something that defines the relationship that the customer has with the trademark that the company uses and what the company stands for. So the two brands, as I mentioned, uh, Bidla A1 Premium Cement, that has been our mother brand. We have been using it from the time that we were established nearly four decades ago now. And the second brand is uh, Bidla A1 Strong Feet. And each one of them have a very clearly defined value proposition for our customers. So stamp of Bidla on the products, which is the very best in its category, is our brand promise. And that's what we have tried to communicate all the time to our customers or consumers when we say, Enrich is a unique place to freely live beauty through energizing and immersive experiences. And obviously our objective has been to make Enrich a loved brand of its category. How do we do that? You know, we offer a great 
beauty services to our customers. Uh, we offer great brands and products to our uh, customers, and this improves and gives them uh, delight. The second thing is we have a very strong competitive rewards program and by which they can very easily earn and burn. And it is one of the best uh, you know, loyalty programs in the industry. Uh, we, it's not about just giving them services and products in the store. It's about uh, strengthening my customers' learnings. So every time they come to the store, they get a tip you know, in the sense that how do you look after your skin better? How do you look after your hair better? Or how do you apply this makeup better? I think uh, we give them skincare solutions, we give them uh, styling solutions, uh, hair color solutions, and I think they, it's their store, so we make sure that they get the best shopping experience in every part of the store. Cement being a low involvement category, the brand has always sought way to reach out to different customers through different media. But while leveraging ongoing before COVID was a strong medium for us. That has completely changed during post-COVID. In fact, our strategy, just like our customers' behavior, has adapted to digital with more faith and trust. While mass media is still one of our stronger mediums, we are now leveraging digital with more innovative and creative approach. Strategies we might opt for different media vehicles as far as our communication strategy goes. Our stance of India up soch karo buland stands more apt in the situation more than ever and our new campaign for the brand Our Strength Dek is an idea of the same thought but we are not stopping here. Covid has taught us lot and every day we are adapting, learning and innovating to find new ways to push the purpose of our brand and connect with the lives of our different customers and stakeholders. Well, that's the end of the fourth edition of the Iconic Brands of India 2021 presented by Economic Times. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us this evening.